Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath. It's Saturday. Wait, it's Saturday, not Sunday. We'll get to that in a second. Regardless, it means we're going fishing. In today's episode, it's kind of windy out. It's blowing a good solid 10 to 15 knots, so I don't know if we're going to make it out of the inlet. We're going to head there and see if we can get out. Again, I'm in a 17-foot Key West, and uh, there's only so much risk I will actually take, even though I do tend to go out in some rough seas. But we're going to head over there and see what's going on. Before we get into this episode, do us a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. So, as I was saying, I typically don't go out on Saturdays. It tends to be the, the crazy day where you get lots of folks that have rented boats and sort of tend to get a little wild on the water. And uh, I try to avoid that. Sunday is the one free day that I have, so I try to go out there. But this Sunday, I have a large family and um, today is the free day. So being that everybody's got something going on tomorrow and I want to take care of them and help them out, I'm doing a Saturday show. We're gonna head out the inlet. Like I said, it's there's storms rolling in. The wind is a solid 10 to 15. So uh, we're gonna see if we can get out here. And if not, we're probably gonna hang out in the intracoastal. I got some spots I've been wanting to try for a long time that I can't get to by land, but I could definitely hit from the boat. See if we can pull up some, you know, some jacks, some mangrove snappers maybe a snook who knows what's swimming around I, I really haven't uh had a chance to hit them up but i'm kind of thinking that's might be what we might be doing all right so i'm at the inlet and it's uh it's a little gnarly i got you know big swells coming in i got breaking waves out here to the north right on the jetty uh I think I am gonna go do the uh, the in the canal thing. Uh, it's not the fact that I couldn't get out. The wind's just ripping really hard, which is not you know great conditions for fishing. And uh, you know the following sea coming back in the inlet with, is the uh, dangerous thing to do in a little boat like mine. So I'm gonna turn around and uh, we're gonna go have some fun, try and catch some mangroves. All right, folks. Quite literally too gnarly to get out. I really actually went out a little bit further than what you just saw. And the problem is the swells grow as the water funnels into the uh, inlet. And it's just, it, it's not the going out. It's not that I've ever been gun shy to go out in really rough seas, which I, I actually do and people call me a little loony for it. The problem is, is when you come back into the inlet, there's what's called a following sea. And it can actually either drive the front of my boat down into the wave or come over my bow or come over my stern as I'm going in and it can sink my boat. And uh, I just, it's not a risk I'm willing to take. Sometimes when it comes to boating, you gotta play it safe and smart. Otherwise you can end up in uh, you know, some real quick trouble real quick before you know. All right, so we're gonna hang out here in the Intracoastal today. Like I said, I got some spots I've been wanting to try that I can't get to by land. And we're gonna go hit those and uh, see, you know, see if we can catch something. Hopefully some mangroves will show up. That way we can get some dinner. If not, maybe some jacks, maybe a snook. Who knows, maybe we'll catch a bunch of toadies and do a toady special. All right, we're gonna head over there and uh, I'm gonna start uh, banging it back out once we uh, get this. Inside the Intracoastal, you got this little outcove that stretches for about a half a mile. And I've been wanting to fish in here. This is near uh, 20th Street, just north of Glades Road in Boca Raton. Up there is Spanish River and Yamato Road. But over here is what I'm going to try and hit. There's a good little ledge. I just went over it. I'm going to see uh, what I can do. It gets real shallow real quick in here. All right, we got a fish as I was setting the anchor. Oh, it wrapped around my anchor line too. 
All right, <laughs> little lizard fish. That's the type of day it's gonna be. Look at this. We got a snapper. He's a little guy, but start. Mangrove, they gotta be 10 inches. Also called a gray snapper. snapper that's awesome lane snapper almost looks like a mutton because of this dot but they're not they got the series of little red and sort of orangish spots on them these guys are good to go to I could actually keep this guy if I wanted to but I'm not going to oh, perfect release another lizard fish we are having a stellar day, folks. Small mangroves, lanes, and lizard fish. Great weather outside. We had we had good times. You know the scenery's great. We we're driving by. You got the the outcoves with the mangroves, the mansions. We caught some fish. Had a little bit of a good time. Nice breeze. wasn't a very productive day in the way of uh, catching food, but that's how it goes. So we're gonna get back to it here in a little bit in another little bit of a different spot and see if we can get something uh, maybe that's uh we can throw on the dinner plate spot i'm uh i'm fishing some real skinny water i'm in about four and a half feet so i'm gonna lose my sinker i got a chum bag out actually in the intracoastal I don't know if anybody's ever tried that. Could be wasting my time if not, but you know, hopefully if you chum, they will come. And uh, I got some bait fish popping on the back of the boat, so I'm gonna try and get to them and uh, hopefully something swims around and we can get some action going on other than these little tiny fish that have been biting all day. Chum line is working. Uh, I've switched to my frigate ultralight bait reel and I got on a tiny gold hook to kind of match the water color. Hopefully we can uh, get something going on. Now this reel has four pound test on it. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Anybody's willing to uh, come along. This is what I would normally use to catch like ballyhoo and stuff. I'm just uh, flatlining out a bait. See if anyone will come along and eat it. Oh, yep, we got blue runners. And I got no more hook. <laughs> there we go, that's the way that is. That a blue runner jumps. Unheard of. Unheard of. All right, so that's what we're going after. Not real big today, but if I was out king fishing, this would be perfect bait right now. Blue runner. Canal tuna. Whatever you want to call them. Again, this is real light tack I'm fishing with, so the fish aren't real big here. If I could get to some snapper up in this chum line, that would be even better. But 
I would have to figure out how to get through the blue runners, which are kind of thick right now. And give the chum bag a little shaky shake. Drop out the bait. Again, there's no weight on this line. It's called flat lining. So I just let it sink down as if I threw some piece of bait over and the fish will come and grab it. As soon as they come and grab it, I see them grab it. I just reel down on them and it should set the hook. The little guy. Again, another blue run. Oh, and with the perfect release. And I still got silver side, which is awesome. Okay. And flatline your bait out. Wait for the bite. Just reel down on them. There's no reason to set the hook. This is not bass fishing. You'll notice I never really yank back. Just a slight yank back to make sure that the hook's set, but there's no real hook setting necessary. Everybody's favorite, the catfish. Now these guys, these catfish in my canal have some, uh, some sharp spines on their dorsal fins and on their pectoral fins. So I'm not gonna actually handle this guy. He is little enough. Uh, but that's so I don't get stabbed. I'm just gonna cut off. Oh, and there we go, we got him. Trying to get one that would be small enough for me to hook him up, but like I said, this is more of the kingfish size.
If I could get somebody just a little bit smaller than this, I'd put him out of the live bait. does it for this episode it's been a beautiful day the weather's outstanding it's just it's too windy to get outside so we came along here uh, we were hoping to get some snapper or maybe a snook they just didn't come along caught a bunch of little blue runners catfish tiny snappers and everything to show you that there is life in this canal system it's just not the uh, the proper size for eating right about now um, Maybe there's better spots that I haven't found yet. Of course there is. So right now, we're gonna call it a day. And until next time, this is South Florida Saltwater Fishing. We're out. <laughs>